people, Jennifer Ziliato here. I'm back again for another Style Fix video. Uh, I'm in the Germain Hotel in Ottawa and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do a little get ready with me. I've been here with Bruno uh, for a couple of days. We decided to have a little getaway and last year for uh, my birthday, he gifted me with a spa. So we did that last night. I'm gonna start with this fabulous elixir on my face while I'm talking. We also went to the National Gallery. We've been out for dinner. It's been really fun. And I'm getting ready to go out for lunch. And then we're heading home. So I hope you all had a lovely New Year's. And uh, here we go, watching me do my makeup. This is not a promotional video, I'm just saying, just thought it would be kind of fun to show you my kind of everyday makeup look. So I started with this really great um, serum from Kiehl's. It's enough of a sort of, it's not too greasy, but it really moisturizes. And then next I'm putting on this Roche-Posay um, foundation that has SPF built in and I love this because of the SPF built in and also built in not built in included in it how do you say anyway um I also love it because it feels really moisturizing which is great I have problem skin so I have to be really careful with some of the products I use and I try not to stray away from things that I'm not used to because I have an acne rosacea that I've had for years. It's quite stubborn and can flare up sort of at any time. And I do have a cream for it when it flares up. I have an amazing homeopath in Toronto. If you're in need of a homeopath, then message me and I will um, let you know about her. She's amazing. Okay, so I started with that, and as you can see, I've got a sort of nice coverage, a little dewy effect. And next, most of my makeup is Maison Jacinthe. It's a company here in Quebec, in Montreal, and it's all natural, it's vegan, and I feel like my skin really likes it. You can maybe see there's a little bit of a flare up here of my rosacea, just to give you an idea. Um, my skin really likes it. I've been using it for quite a while and I have no issues with it because sometimes either I'll get a flare-up of rosacea or a flare-up of um, eczema, which is really troublesome, especially in and around my eyes. This year, actually, my allergies have been really bad and I've been finding I've had more issues. So I have a really great concealer pencil here and I'm just going to add a little bit onto that rosacea just to hide it slightly. Just under my eyes. I tend to do um, a pretty basic um, day makeup look. That's easy. And when I'm traveling, I find, especially traveling with a carry-on, you know, I've done a lot of traveling this year, and your, your cosmetics take up so much space. It's insane, especially as we age. <laughs> um, like you have your all your hair products, your shampoo, all your la la and I find, I try to, I tried to pare it down. So what I did was I bought this great product from Maison Jacinthe. It's kind of like a, a all-in-one. There's a blush and a highlighter on one side, and then the brown um, eyeshadow on the other. And this I take and I find my makeup is really reduced and it's so much easier. So I'm gonna start with my eyes. And I have my brush here and I'm gonna just do uh, here in the corners, the brow. And like I said, we went to the National Gallery yesterday. It was amazing. There's so many great paintings there. I couldn't believe it. Like I thought I saw Georgie O'Keeffe that honestly I thought was incredible. 
took my breath away. I've never seen it before. And there's something about seeing artwork. I mean, of course we know it, but when you see the real deal, it really is special. Okay, so now I'm taking this dark brown and I'm just going into where the eye crease back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I really love this brown color, especially for my uh, skin tone and for my eye color. I find it's really quite pretty on me. It's very basic. There's a lighter color as well of a brown, which I tend to use more in the summertime when I'm a little bit darker. And that's about it. Pretty easy. I might just do one more back and forth. And I find also too with eyeshadow, especially doing this, you end up getting a little bit of powder under your eyes. So I will redo under my eyes right at the end. There's another trick I learned um, from watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to apply makeup, which is putting a little bit of um, like a highlighter right here in your crease when you're tired and I find that it really kind of makes a big difference. Simple, and this is like a little highlighter pencil, which is really nice to carry around in your makeup bag or when you're traveling. So one thing I never leave without, because I've learned, is my pencil sharpener, because I tend to use this um, I eyeliner all the time. It's like a jumbo stick. It's really greasy. It's extremely easy to apply. And again, if you wanted to pare down your makeup and just carry a few things, you could use this all over your eye. You know, I could go in like this for kind of a little bit more of a smoky look and just smudge it slightly. And it really works. So I just do above, especially if you find you're not very good at applying, this is very forgiving because it's thick and it's very greasy and like I said, very forgiving. And there, I just <clears throat> smudge it in a little bit. Oops. And now I want to just gently go underneath. There is a little bit of a trick too when you're doing a smoky eye specifically is um, here at the end, here I'll just draw it in and then I'll smudge it so you can get an idea, is you sort of draw a line and then go to that line. Just kind of smudge it in. A smoky eye, I'm not necessarily doing a smoky eye today, but a sm the nice thing about a smoky eye is that it is very forgiving. You can be kind of messy with it and you can't really go wrong. So that's almost it for my eyes. I'm just gonna do a mascara. I'm using the Big Lash from Maybelline. This is a mascara I've been using for years. I find it's really easy to apply. I find it's a nice dark color, it stays on. Um, and my eyes don't necessarily need a natural mascara. Uh, they're hard to find. Maison Jacin does one, but I found that I would use it and then I my eyes would tear a little bit and then I'd have mascara all over. So I went back to this. All right, so that's almost it for my eyes. I'm just gonna do a little bit under the eye and here's another kind of concealer type thing. I'm nearly done this, as you can see, and I just want to go underneath one more time because I did use quite a bit of powder and I just want to hide that. So that's pretty much it for my eyes. Easy. And now we are going to do the highlighter. This is such a nice product. It's creamy, it's so easy to apply and you just want to do it on the high cheekbone. Anywhere where you want the light to kind of um, hit. You could do a little bit on your nose, a little bit here in the lip, and you can also do a little bit just up here. 
really simple. And then I'm going to take my blush, which is like a cream blush, and go all the way up into here. And I'm going to smudge it with a brush afterward. So I'm going to be kind of a little bit dramatic. And again, I just watched a lot of YouTube videos of how to do makeup. Maison Jacinthe has some. Uh, they're easy to find on YouTube. And I can put some links underneath if you'd like for some of the ones that I've actually really liked. There's a few artists that I really like, just to give you ideas. It's just kind of fun because the thing is too with makeup is it's a nice accessory. You know, you can do different looks and have fun. And so now I just smudge it in. Ooh, it's maybe looking a little bit strong, <laughs> looking a little red. take that bigger brush and smudge it in a little bit more. And that's the other thing I learned too, is the more smudging you do, the better. Okay, uh, lipstick. That is one thing I am missing. Hang on, I'm gonna go get it because it's in my purse. I've been finding that my lips, now that we're in January, even though it has not been that cold of a winter so far, have been super duper dry. I have this, I think it's Clohan lip balm that was gifted to me and I love it. It is my favorite. I don't know where she bought it, but I really love it. And then I have, again, Maison Jacinthe, a little um, lip liner. And I really am loving lip liners. I find them easy to apply their they stay on, you can kind of make your lips look a little bit bigger. And also, you know, you can add it to the lip balm like I did. So it feels really comfortable. And that is about it, my day look. So I am ready to go out for lunch. Uh, if you liked getting ready with me, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And of course, for more style ideas, more inspiration, you know the drill. You can continue to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram.